In today's episode of Don't Be A Noob, I wanted to show you the quickest way of hiding a cat between two. Well, there's not there's not only one way of doing this. So let me show you two of them. So first of all, what you want to do is we're going to match one section where I'm looking towards the camera closer or that is sort of similar to the last frame of the other one right here. For example, I'm looking forward and on this one as well. If I left this right here, then it will look a little bit weird. So I'm going to make these a little bit smaller like that. And I'm going to leave a uh, sort of like a J cut right here. So the audio is going to come forward and then we can already see these little jump, but we'll still have these little jumper right here. So what's the next thing that you want to do? You can either bring this higher, go one frame and then bring this to that frame and then go to 50%. And this is just if you don't want to go backwards and forward to figure out and match both eyes right here, because that's what we're doing. We have this clip right here. This is the second and we want to match the eye position, but we also want to zoom in a little bit and we want to leave these to be at a similar eye level. So we can go back now, bring this back down. And if we go, we basically hide the cat pretty well. It just looks that we zoomed into the speaker, right? So that is one way of doing this. Okay, now let me show you one thing here in DaVinci Resolve 20 that we can use because they added something that makes these really, really smoothly. So go to the effects tab and find the smooth cut transition. Now, after you've added the smooth cut transition to your clip, the speed warp box right here, which is new in DaVinci Resolve 20, will be checked by default. But I unchecked this because I wanted to show you how it looks without it. That's how it looks without it. If I go and check these, make sure this is to better. Maybe that will, maybe that will, maybe. Then it looks pretty well. And you can mix these with the ease in and out as well if you want. And maybe that will. then it's maybe. pretty much perfect. Yeah, if you want to nitpick and go right into the detail, there's a little bit of like a weird artifact right here. But if you make this really short, like a six frame transition, they're not going to be able to notice what was happening or if there was a different clip right here. If this tip helped you become less of a noob in DaVinci Resolve today, make sure to leave a comment right here with a rocket icon. You can leave this little rocket. And that is just so that I know that you've watched this video all the way through. And if you want to check out over a thousand tools and elements for DaVinci Resolve, make sure to check out the Suave bundle at bundle.suave.com because I think it could make your editing life a lot better. So make sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Here is Suave. Bye.